Today we're gonna to do a quick stress test on one of the 850XLs that is meant for handgun. Let's take a look. All right guys, so for our stress test, what we decided to do is the first thing we wanted to test is, well, does the light stay on the gun when we're uh, shooting under recoil? Of course, the light managed to stay on the firearm. It was cranked down nice and tight. They do offer different options on how you can mount the plates for this so it'll fit different systems. Once we did that, we went ahead and we did a water test. And by a water test, what we did is we just went ahead and dunked the light inside of a bucket of water, drew the gun out, continued to shoot it. This is not a test on the firearm and whether the ammunition would continue to fire, but it's, a, it's speaking to the durability and the um, waterproof, uh, dustproof body that it provides. After we did the water test, what we went and did was we offered an impact test. During the impact test, what we did is we hit it uh, with a uh, muzzle thump essentially, but using the light to hit the chest of the rubber dummy. Doing that, obviously as you saw, we knocked it over. The light is very strong and held up to that. We then decided we wanted to increase the amount of impact that we were causing to the light. So at this point we went ahead and we got some wood and we started bashing the light against the wood face. By doing this we could see that it can withstand the impact of something a little bit more malleable but still firm. From there we wanted to go even further. So at this point we decided we were going to start striking it on concrete. After striking it on concrete the light was still on, we were able to still shoot oh. and the toggle switches both worked uh, in terms of both the momentary as well as the constant on function on both sides. Alright guys, so what we did was we went even further than most tests would go. Um, obviously, there's a certain point where all products are going to be damaged, right? Nothing is indestructible. What's great about this product is that it meets right in the middle in terms of the price point and the quality that you're getting. We took this test even further to the point where we were spiking this light against the ground as well as the walls. Mind you, those are both set, uh, both are concrete. The wall is concrete and the floor is concrete. We spiked it a couple times. We then decided, let, you know, let's go and take it further and let's dunk it back in water. After dunking in water, going back to spiking it, it was still holding up. The only reason that you would see the light turn off is because we had taken it off the firearm because there's no point in me spiking a Glock right at the ground. But by spiking this light, the only time it would turn off is because the toggle switches were being hit when it was bouncing around. Uh, what we did notice is when it finally died. Hey guys, so while we were previewing the footage and we're getting ready to edit, we actually opened the light back up and uh, we were curious to see what the inside looked like. And sure enough, if I can get this thing open. The batteries are actually mashed together. So from all that impact, the lights got, or the batteries got uh, smashed together, which damaged the batteries. So let's go ahead and test new batteries in it real quick and see what we get. It's pretty amazing, the fact that this just turned all the fresh batteries in it. Both toggles work. The right toggle is damaged. That's wild though. Final thoughts, definitely a good product for the price point. Um, this nightstick held up a lot further than I expected, um, so I definitely recommend this product. So currently we have the 850 lumen models in stock because you always want more lumens. And so they offer long gun lights and they offer um, handgun lights. The handgun lights will offer the typical toggle switches where instead of it actually being on a lever, uh, both sides will operate the same. So if you're left-handed or right-handed, it's the exact same up and down, up and down on both sides. For the weapon-mounted lights, for the long guns, you've got your 850. This is the uh, 854XL. This light itself comes with a tape switch. Uh, it screws into the back of it and allows you to use a pressure pad. While this variation, the 852XL, this one uses a push button on the rear. The push button on the rear is just so that way on a long gun, instead of having a toggle switch that you have to press, you can actually just press the button like this. It does have a click, so you can actually click it in place and leave it on, or you can just do momentary by applying pressure to it. Um, <clears throat> the nightstick line is new for us. It's also new for you. This is a great product, though. They offer rechargeable flashlights, such as this one. This is the uh, EDC flashlight that's rechargeable. So when you spin the collar and bring it down, it actually offers a USB charging port. This is a great light to have in your car, especially in the wintertime. If your car is going to die on you, you have a light that you can rely on. This is a great product to have. Thank you guys again for tuning in and checking this out. Thanks for looking at the nightstick line that we host here at the Machine Gun Nest. If you have any questions about these products, feel free to stop in and chat with a staff member today.